In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an ebook using Canva. Canva is a graphic design tool that is easy to use and you'll be able to create your own ebook quickly and easily without any hassle at all. My name is Steve from stevenjency.com. I create two videos a week, one video for personal development and education like this one, and the other video is usually about health and nutrition. Uh, without further ado, I'll go on to the screen capture, but before I do that, I'll ask you guys to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. Okay guys, here we are. This is the homepage for canva.com. Obviously you need to sign up an account for free on Canva. So just go to canva.com and then sign up. And once you've signed up, you come up to this page. This is the homepage. So what you're going to do to create our own ebook, uh, we will come to this uh, search bar here and then we need to type uh, A4 document. Um, so just uh, type A4 and then it will come up with the A4 document there. And then these are the documents that we want to choose one from. But we're just going to go to create a blank A4 document there. And then the white canvas will come on our screen. Uh, on the left uh, toolbar, there will be some different um, uh, templates that we're going to choose one of them. And further down, this is the elements that we'll be working from. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to select one of these. Uh, but before you do that, just uh, look, when you look, hover over them and then look at it, you see that it's, it's a free one. The, the pro ones will say it's pro. But the one thing that I want you to look at is the one with more than one page. So this one has got one page. This one has got one page. Just says free. So this one is one of two. It means there's two pages. As you can see, when you hover over it, it will just slide to show the rest of the page. So let's see if we can find one that has got more than um, two pages um, so we can uh, create something uh, more. And this one has got three. Let's see how they look. Uh, you can hover over it and let the pages slide or you can just click once on it and then the pages will be displayed for you. Uh, let me see. Oh, this one has got 10. Yeah, so this one has got 10 pages. So let's click once on that and see the pages. So you can see all the pages are there. So what you want uh, to do, you can select one page or you can just apply all of them. So let's apply all of them and see what happens. We'll click on that and then see that page. Uh, the first page is there already. I think they've just applied all of them. Now, if you scroll up again, you'll see the pages are all there. So this is the template that we'll be working on. So one thing I like about Canva is that it's a drag and drop tool. Uh, so you just uh, click on something on the canvas and then drag and then drop it to where you want it. And you can just click and customize uh, everything that is on the template uh, there. Uh, so we're going to do that now. So I'm just going to change the color of um, um, to get my um, brand color. So I'll click on that and then change that color to my brand color, which is blue. And then I'll change the text color uh, there to black. So if you click on the text, then you come up here uh, where the letter is and then the text color will come. They've got different colors that you can choose from. And the colors that you use uh, a lot, they'll end up grouping themselves together, but you can create what we call brand colors. Uh, so you can create one for free account. Uh, you can create more than one when you put a pro account. So I'm just gonna um, select the black uh, text and this one uh, to delete this I'll just press delete on the keyboard or backspace if you're using a Mac or just click on it and then come up here and then click uh, the bin there so we'll click that element uh, to delete it so what we're going to do now we can just change the title of our our book of our ebook I'll just say self-discipline uh, just doing this one because uh, um, can type <laughs> because I, I, I believe so much in self-discipline and I've got a, a book that I've uh, done on that. Um, um, self-discipline space, let's see what we can write here. Or we'll just say must read. Yeah. <clears throat> then you can um, go up here and increase the size or the font size. Uh, let's see if we can get us 52. Let's go to 56 and see uh, what you can do as well. You can even uh, drag it. Uh, to increase a bit more so that's i think that um looks good let's see what's happening there there we go let's read it that's fine and i like that so then uh, the photo to come and change the photo obviously self-discipline we can use that so we can come out of that we can delete that uh, you just do the same as I, I said before i'll just come back so what you can do you can delete and then you um 
you know, you'll have the space holder there left for you to insert the photo. To insert the photo here, you just come up to the photos and then insert one photo that you like here. If you click on the photo, um, let's say, uh, I like to, you know, insert a photo that is related to the topic. Uh, so let's see if we can put this one in. Uh, so if you click on it and then it comes here or what you can do, you can drag it and then bring it straight inside. So if you click on it, it will come up here, but you need to drag it into the uh, placeholder. As you can see there, that's a, um, a very nice uh, photo. I'll leave that in. But if you want to put your own photo, I'll show you on the next page anyway. I'll change that to the brand color as well, so you can be uniformity. And then um, here you can change um, and put um, your name there so people can know it's you who, who done this. Um, And that's it. Okay, place the font there so people can see a little bit. Maybe that's too big. And that's it. And the first page is done so quick like that. I like the way it looks. So you can change this color here. Um, um, let's see. Um, maybe this one. Let's see if we can change that one a little bit. And um, no. Nah. I'll just leave it there. <clears throat> Let's leave it like that. Uh, looks good. So that's the first page so quick. And then you can go on and, and uh, change the rest of the uh, of, um, uh, of your book. Uh, so if you want to put any new photo here, uh, I'll just, uh, just do it right. I'll just uh, change that to maybe um, about the author. Let's say about the author. Then you can write something about yourself there just a little bit. Uh, you go and change the color of the text and then so you can be uniform uh, there you go uh, there you go then to, f to change the photo if you want the photo that you already have what you do you can obviously delete that one then you come up here to uploads uploads are the photos that you you've brought into your co from your computer into Canva so you uploaded them in there so you um, can go to upload media and then with the device it will take them from your um, from your computer then or you can just drag the photo into here so i'll put one photo that um, i have here let me see which one um, i'll just pick one i'll just pick this one and then i'll just drag it in here then uh, what you can do um just to position uh, the photo a little bit better so you can double click on the photo then you see it will allow you to drag the photo into the right position and then you click done and then the photo is in the right position um so there you go that's what you can do then uh, you can remove um you see these uh, elements are all grouped together you see they move together if you want to only leave this bit and remove this one you come up here and ungroup them and then um, as you can see now they are ungrouped now they they move separately so take out that one and then this you can just make it uh, like a proper text now and then increase the font a little bit i'll just go to 14 and then let's see if um, we can make that uh, paragraph visible um can just move it a little bit uh, you see now it's moved to the side what you can do uh, to put it right in the middle you can come up to position here and then put uh, right uh, to the center you see it's moved to the center or the other way you can do it is just to move it to, to click on it and then move around then you see the purple line comes it's telling you right it's in the middle now uh, you can carry on and change your your, your colors uh, to what fits your uh, to what fits your brand and there you go so that's the next page and then the other page you can carry on now and customize it the way you want it you can remove elements uh, all of them if you want and then um, ungroup this is it they're all grouped together they move together so you can ungroup them then you can uh, click on you can click on one of them then move it uh, there at the bottom and then make that one like a, a separate paragraph then you can increase the font uh, maybe 14 we have with that and then you do the same for this one 14 and then we know we've got um, then see the purple lines come yeah it tells you, tells you 
right you're in the middle and there you go um then you know you just change whatever the topics that you have on your book that you're writing so this you can do this for anything if you've got a blog and you want uh, you know take some of the contents from your blog post and you know get, make it a giveaway you can do that as an ebook as well and can canva is the best place to do that uh, so we've done our book there now uh, what you can do because we've got 10 pages some we don't need so what you can do i'll show you, you click on the page and then come up to delete a uh, um, page there and do the same for for the other one as well that you don't need and and that's it we'll, and we'll take that one out as well so I'll just click the entire page and then um, delete that's it so that's our book it's almost done and then the last thing that you want to do uh, after you've customized everything you've got all the pages and everything it looks good you're happy and then you come to uh, you want now upload your book so it can be ready for people to see it uh, so that you can also maybe get a code for it to put it on your website wherever you want or you just want to send it to to people uh, you come up here to that arrow it says download then it will say canva will suggest you what you should print it as or save it as so this is a pdf print which is the perfect one to uh, to save as and then here you've got uh, the pages that you want to uh, to save so if you go down here as well you see it's got all other different uh, stuff in there if you've got a little video that you want to play in there it will obviously come up to this one to the mp4 video because it, it wants to include the video into your book but it's a pdf uh, document so um, it's fine with pdf print so we will do that and if you want to find more of what you can do once you've finished your book you can come up here those three dots there and then you can download uh, you can share the link and send to an email or you can say it straight to facebook if you want if it's a book that you want people to you know to have a look at, at facebook or twitter or it will just go straight away to that or send it to your google drive as well so and all these other uh, formats that they have there uh, but for now we'll just uh, download as a um, pdf uh, print and click download so all those seven pages are now uh, doing their magic and then the book is being created as we speak and uh, within a few seconds we will have our book and as you can see it's all done it's saved uh, then we'll check the book there it is it's loaded so we'll, I will open the book there and this is it this is our self mastery ebook that we've just done so quick it didn't take long as you can see um, there you go there is about page and then the description we've done and more that you obviously uh, you will customize that to what you are talking about in your book. And this is it, guys. This is how you can create an ebook using Canva uh, easily and quick. As I said before, I create two videos a week: one video for personal development and education, and the other video is about health and nutrition. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. Otherwise, guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate that. I will see you in the next video. You take care. Bye.